Looks like there is a stingray. This is definitely a bonus. I didn't imagine seeing a stingray here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hi, this is Ken, and welcome to my channel, Ken Travels 360. Today, we're at the private island of Sandals Royal Bahamian, and I'm going to explore with you what facilities they have on this private island. From the main resort, you can clearly see the pirate offshore island and a boat ride of a few minutes takes you there. So with a two minute boat ride, we have arrived at the private island. I will start from the big rocks, just here on the left hand side, go all the way to the right hand corner of the island. That's where you can also find the red leaf spa. So we just arrived on the island. Look at the water here. It probably can't be any clearer than this. The ferry boat runs a few times a day and the schedule is posted at the aqua center at the main resort as well as the pier on the private island. Beautiful swimming pool here. This is the private beach and you can snorkel here as well. If you want to snorkel, you can walk along this path to get to this uh, gazebo in front where they provide you with uh, snorkeling gear. It's called a snorkeling hut. We just got the snorkeling kit and we're ready to go snorkeling again. This time we'll snorkel from the beach. Right, let's go snorkeling. Right, hopefully there might be some fish uh, in the rocks in front of us. I did just now, I started uh, snorkeling over here on this side of the beach and I swam along the rocks and then I swam over uh, the white buoy and then uh, I sw swam along uh, these rocks to the other side and then I uh, snorkeled back in all the time I was hugging around the rocks and uh, there were so many uh, fish as you will see uh, in this video it's really good good snorkeling today the day before we went on an excursion to snorkel with sharks compared to that this is a much more gentle snorkel but yet with lots of fish to see by the way if you haven't seen the video where i swam with sharks you can click on the link above or at the end of the video to watch it anyway it's almost lunch time but let's do a walking tour to see what other facilities are available. There are two beaches on the Python Island. We have seen the snorkeling beach, but there is also a beach at the pier side as well. On the left, you will see an area of the beach where you can sunbathe. On the other side, there are more sun decks, as well as another beach area where you can sunbathe and swim. From here, you can see uh, the mega resort, Bahama, on the other side. Let's continue our walk. So I'm just walking along the beach now. The water is quite warm and the water is, uh, I think, reasonably clear. 
At this point, I started walking back to the pier when I noticed everyone is suddenly getting up from their sunbed and rushing to the water with their phone or camera. Looks like there is a stingray. This is definitely a bonus. I didn't imagine seeing a stingray here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they come in here all the time. The last time I saw a stingray was in uh, Stingray City, Antigua. If you haven't watched that video yet, click the link above to see that video where I show you how it's like to swim with stingrays. Okay, looks like the stingray is moving away now, so let's uh, resume our tour. This is the swimming pool of the Pirate Island. From here, let's walk around the back to see what else are on this island. This must be where they do weddings on the Pirate Island. So this is the far side of the beach. There are more uh, sun decks. And there are these little huts. And beyond that, there are a few hammocks as well. And at the far end of the island, there is a spa as well. There are more secluded areas around. From here, you can see Atlantis and the cruise ship. I can see there are a few cruise ships in Nassau today. Looks like there are at least two carnival ships. And I think the one in the middle is a Disney. <coughs> Guys, don't leave your food around. This is what happened. Lots of these gazebos around. So if you like a very private place, then you've got it. The Pirate Island is undoubtedly one of the best features of this Sandals Royal Bahamian. And we're back to the swimming pool area. It's time for lunch. Behind me is the Auralia House. This restaurant is located on the private island of the resort. It's open for lunch between 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It has some delicious sounding dishes. Barbecue, maybe back ribs, seafood risotto, grouper goujons and island jerk chickens, etc. This restaurant is perfect if you want to stay the whole day here on the private island. We're seated here at Aralia House for the lunch on this private island and here's the menu. So just a word of advice, when you come here, uh, do make sure you get uh, something to cover up yourself. Uh, otherwise, you won't be allowed to enter here. Oh, and you can't be barefoot here either. So for the lunch at Aralia House, we've ordered three different main courses. This one is baby back ribs. And then I've also ordered island jerk chicken, the seafood risotto. So it looks like Steve really enjoyed the uh, baby back rib, finished them more. The island jerk chicken is really nice, even though it's quite spicy. The seafood risotto, I w I'm not quite sure about it. Overall, I would say it's okay. I will rate it about mm, 70 out of 100. So just ordering a Miami Vice at the bar. It's basically strawberry daiquiri mixed with piña colada. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel with notifications enabled. That way, you won't miss another video from me. After the big lunch and the cocktail, the best thing to do is to sunbathe and lounge by the swimming pool. Just got into the pool. It's really cold. <laughs> right, we just uh, swam to the middle of the pool where uh, we order drinks. This is a uh, mango the kiwi. It's a dirty one. We got rum in it. Cheers. Right, we have a fun day at the Pirate Island. 
and now it's time to go back to uh, the mainland. Overall, we really enjoyed the Pilot's Island. In fact, it's so much fun that we came back twice during our stay at Sandals Royal Bahamian. As you can only get to the island by Sandals ferry boat, it means only guests and staff of Sandals are on the island. As a result, there's nobody bothering us or trying to sell us things. The swimming pool has got a private club feeling, which I also like. And if you like to snorkel without going on an excursion, then the snorkeling from the beach is great, particularly they loan you snorkeling equipment as well, so you don't have to bring your own stuff. Overall, the private island makes a strong case for staying at Sandals if you come to the Bahamas. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.